Hey YouTube, so I, um, I have a weather loach, and what's been going on has been kind of miserable to watch. Well, actually I have two weather loaches, that's the healthy one. The other one, um, his boat, his butt started floating. Um, so if you ever have a dojo loach, weather loach, um, where his butt is floating, um, I just figured it out. The, they have a second air sac in their rear end. Um, and sometimes there's issues with, uh, or that's where they also pump out the excess oxygen from their system. Um, and sometimes there's a reaction with a bubbler or, uh, I forget what the other thing is. But in essence, the exit route for the oxygen gets blocked or infected or something happens. <clears throat> that's not the important part. The important part is that they need to adjust their air sac and release that oxygen. So... Um, it's been dreadful to watch my loach suffer, and I've been thinking about different ways to euthanize him, and I don't know, um, doing my research of how to put him down. And I finally just found this link, um, with a really good answer, and it described that, um, the process of the butt end floating, and why, and the number one thing you can do is dojo loaches can survive out of the water, right? So what you do is you take them out of the water, and I wouldn't say anything longer than five minutes, and hopefully they'll sense the atmospheric pressure, which if you have a dojo loach, you probably know that they can sense storms and stuff. Um, so you take them out of the water, and they start to adjust. Well, that is exactly what I'm doing up here. This is my poor, sick dojo loach, weather loach. He's not doing too well. Um, but ever since I took him out of the water he's been farting so hopefully something's going on um, I have a timer with two minutes left I've been filming for two minutes so he doesn't have that much longer before I put him in the water so we're gonna see if it fixed the problem I'm, I'm not kidding like he's floating backwards in the current like it's been dreadful to just watch him suffer and I don't know if he's sleeping I know fish don't enter REM sleep um, but, you know, it's your pet. You like him. You don't want him to suffer. Um, but yeah, he's like, he not floating upside down. See, he's floating right side up. I'll put that down just for a second. Um, floating right side up with his butt end up in the air and his head hanging lazily down. And, like, he's stuck in that, they're stuck in that position. And they try and sleep and they end up just floating around at the surface spinning around and hitting idle, hitting objects and whatnot. All right, that's my one minute timer. See? See those bubbles? That's him passing the oxygen. Timer goes off. I'm just gonna toss him in the water there. He passes some more. That timer goes off. I'm gonna toss him in the water and go turn. I got the timer on the oven. I'm gonna turn that off. Actually, you know what? We don't need extra sound, so I'm just gonna start walking. All right, buddy. Pass some more bubbles. Get some air. See how he's floating. Please don't float. See, ah, oh, see his butt airs, his butt's going up in the air a little bit. He's trying. Let's see if he ends up doing it. So I put these little hidey things. Hopefully he'd find one, and he hasn't been finding one. I had a second one right here, but he didn't want to find either of them. See, this is how they kind of act when they're having that bladder control, air bladder control. Alright, so there he is. He's floating still, but it's not as ridiculous as it was. So, I don't know, maybe have to do a daily treatment, take him out for about four to five minutes, and let him start farting. Um, 
This is about the best thing I found because he started f passing gas immediately. So just thought I'd share. So this is a slight improvement. Yeah, see how he's hanging with his head down? Slight improvement. Alright, bye-bye.